Hey folks, uh, Dave Parrish here at Knack Builders. Uh, if you like these videos, please like them on YouTube and I'd ask also that you subscribe to the site. But today's topic, I'm calling it Page Layout 101, How Not to Screw Up Your App. Um, I do a lot of training and or helping people, they've already started an app and they, are, they need to get over some hump. And I see way too often constructing the pages wrong. Uh, and I'm going to go through a few fundamental principles here that if you follow these, you're going to have a nice, clean app. And this applies to all kinds of apps. Um, now, there's some specialty use cases where uh, this may not apply. But for inventory apps, accounting, membership, tracking, CRMs, these are really common use cases. Uh, this is how you should set it up. Follow this and you'll thank me later. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, I'm back. Here's the lowdown on setting up your pages in a good manner. I'm going to call up an app that I'm working on right now. It's a CRM. Now, this is some sort of entertainment production company that has, they develop entertainment, like for TV or, or, or film. Um, they either develop their own projects or they're asked to by the production house to do something. And they want to keep track of all the studio house, all the different types of organizations, all the executives that work for there, uh, producers, directors, writers, all this stuff. And they, um, all the contact that they have with them, all the stuff that's pending, you know, all the types of just a sales process, basically, but for the entertainment user. But here's what I'm going to start off with. Um, when you're building, the first thing, Go to pages side. A lot of times I don't spend much time on here in my videos. But I'm going to tell you, the first thing you do is when you're building your pages, build it around the user role. <clears throat> now, in this case, this use case, we're only going to have one user role. But notice what I did here. It's admin and all the functionality for admins underneath here. Now, if we had another role, like if you had a... Uh, customer portal so that'd be another role this one doesn't and i intentionally put these two executive search and project search in here um because i wanted it to look like this the action for the admin i just wanted them to click here and here instead of here but the first thing i'm going to tell you and i see this a lot if you start having lots of pages that do like very specific things uh not based around user role you're going down the wrong path First thing you'll see is a junked up thing full of these tabs that just doesn't work. And another example I've seen a lot, people will put a page that's just for add a record. Don't do that. It's not the way to do it. And I'm going to show you how you should do it. Think of when you log in. In this case, we're logging into admin home. Well, almost always when you're doing that, or it could be the client's home, what you're going to have are some button up buttons up top to take you to certain places. You're always gonna have some sort of manage user button. You might have one that's reports. In this case, the tables we're dealing with are the companies, the projects, the talent, which is directors, producers, writers, maybe something else. Um, and you're gonna have the same thing, customers or locations or this or that. And then on these type of pages, you're gonna have one main table, the front and center table, which is most likely the thing that is most important to you. In this case, it's executives because they want to track all the action with executives. And then above that, you're going to have add executive. Um, and I'm going to tell you, you should do this. Make almost all the time, you want this to be a modal pop. Um, it's much better user experience. If there's a bunch of complex things going on when you're adding something or it's really, really big, maybe you'll want to advance to a new page. It would look like this. <clears throat> but often you don't need, to, it's not a good user experience advancing to a new page when you're adding something. Um, and when you do do a button, I'm not going to go into all details. Make this a modal pop-up. You can look up how to make it. It's, it's easy. And make a submit rule. 
that when you submit it, it returns to the parent page. It doesn't just give you a message and this thing's just hanging out here. Uh, and you have to click off to the side or click here. And then sometimes, I don't know if they've changed this, when you create that record, this page doesn't refresh, refresh itself and it's not there. You got to refresh the page. If you tell it to go back to the parent page and take care of everything. There's some other things you can do, but I'm not going to get into those. That's the main thing on how you construct like the home page. These items add whatever, whatever the most important thing to use, have front and center of the table. And then you're always going to drive down. You're going to put a details thing on this. Now it takes you to the detail of that executive. It could be a detail of an invoice. Uh, could be a detail of a member. It doesn't matter. Whatever your use case is it. Here, you're going to have boilerplate information about this, this person that you can see. Um, and only if there's a ton of information you collect about this type of record, you may not put it all here because it's going to junk up the page. But in this case, I put all the main stuff, contact, last time we reached this type of stuff, which is important and efficient to look at when you're making decisions. But actually, if you go to edit, edit to almost always is best with this modal pop-up. So we have his name, blah, blah, all this stuff. But then we have all these things, stuff that he's currently looking for, one hour series, whatever it is, okay? And and we have also, he's open to things, and he's not looking for things. In this case, I don't want all this information in his boilerplate stuff because it's going to completely junk up the page. Rather, I just made a button here where we can go see it. A lot more efficient to see it in a detailed thing and uh, and go from there. And then when you get to these records, this is an executive. We're going to have child records to that. If it was an invoice, we would have child records to that, which would be the invoice line items, the different items you're buying on that thing. This is the same thing here. So and every time we have a contact with this person, we could be pitching something, follow-up call, whatever it is. We're going to track it here, typical CRM stuff. Again, modal pop-up for the ad is usually best. Um, and then there might be other, other child records to this thing. In this case, engagements are front and center, just like that previous page. Uh, it's what was most important to us. But we have other different things, like, for example, project history. These would be projects that we've done that this person has some connection to. And so you can click on this. I haven't built this out yet. And this may be a modal pop-up, depending on how much information. But you get the idea here. Um, I don't know that I have a lot more. It, a lot of these cases where I've helped people and they come to me with what they built, I just have to scrap that whole thing because uh, there's too many tabs. And like Again, there might be a tab, add. I've seen it where it's like add executive. You click on a tab here. It takes you to a full page, and it's add executive. and then. Okay, when you add an executive, you should have a table right underneath. So you wouldn't call if even if you had a tab up here, you'd just call it executive. Then you'd have your button. First thing you're going to have is a button. Add a new one. And you're going to have a table of whatever you're adding underneath it that you can engage in in a number of ways. Okay, the last thing here, folks, is I just talked about our main table. Well, we have these other tables, too. They're pretty much the same thing. You're just looking at stuff in a different direction, and these aren't front and center. So we can go to company. This would be the same for invoice and stuff. You'd have your customers, vendors, whatever you're doing. You go here, said add, same deal. We have a list of companies. We can go to one of these companies and, uh, and go see activity with them right here. Boilerplate stuff about the company, edit the company. This is now looking at engagements, which is most important to us right here. We'll see all the company's engagements, regardless of the executive, but it'll show all of them. We can There's other related records. We can click here and see a list of all the executives. We can the relational database stuff. Oh, I want to, there's a whole list of them. I want to see what's going on with John Smith. You can then click it. It's taking you over to John Smith's detail page. Um, that sort of stuff. So all those other buttons up here will be structured very similarly. That's what I got for you today. Thanks.